England struck by a strange magnitude 3 earthquake, striking the English Channel one hour after a magnitude 4.4 strikes Algeria. And we're, we're going to take a look at the map so you have an idea of what's going on. Magnitude 3 earthquake. The European Mediterranean Seismological Center, EMESC, reported that the epicenter was located at a depth, shallow depth of 4.3 miles or 7 kilometers. 35 kilometers south of Camber and less than 50 kilometers away from Eastburn. It's basically right in the middle of the English Channel between England and France. They're situated on Sussex coast. Now, the earthquake hit the English Channel this morning near Britain's coastline. According to the preliminary reports, the tremor occurred about 9 a.m., about 30 miles from Eastburn, and the quake is considered to be minor. No victims or damages have been reported up to now. Let's go to the maps. You can see what's going on. Here we are at Seismo Berkeley, and this is our 4.4 that we had today, the north of Algeria, and uh, we've had swarms uh, in the, for the past few days, which are quite big. They're just about the same, 4.4, 4.5, so that's not small. As we know, we have a fault line there. We have mountains there, the Atlas Mountains all around here, even the volcanic islands, and this is where the area of our earthquake took place right here right here Sussex right here and right here okay that's the area and um, of course those fault lines are not collect connected but who knows what happens is that when you have such a strong earthquake as this and we've had earthquakes in the, you know the past few days even up here okay 3.6 uh, a few days ago in the the um, um, Alps, obviously there is a lot of pressure up here. So this is the area of our map. These, this is the fault lines and pulling out. Well, we don't have to pull out. This is it right here. That's our earthquake. This is the fault line. As you can see, it's connected to uh, in uh, Italy and the Alps. So uh, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, this, these quakes here, 4.4, 4.5, also release pressure up to here, 3.6 that we had. And we do have a lot of um, faults here in France and going into uh, England. Now remember that we have England has a lot of hot spring baths there. Baths, the city of Bath is called Bath because it has hot spring baths, uh, thermal baths. They've been around since uh, ancient Roman times and the Romans have built beautiful bathhouses there. Also Leamington Spa north of Coventry. Leamington Spa is where a lot of uh, Londoners used to go in the spring for their summer vacation. It's like a beautiful little London and uh, beautiful, beautiful Victorian houses, beautiful city. Leamington Spa has also baths. And uh, let's uh, go in a little bit more so we can have a better view of the map. Okay. And uh, this is the Isle of Man here. This is the Isle of Man. You can see these mountains here. Those are five volcanoes there. Five volcanoes here, uh, on, uh, just uh, west, uh, just east of the Isle of Man uh, in Eng northern England. Okay? And of course, uh, Scotland has a lot of highlands, and it even has a supervolcano. The highlands of Scotland are also housing a supervolcano. So just because we think of England as an old, you know, an old uh, country and an old uh, continent does not mean it does, does not have um, earthquakes. I remember when my uh, younger son was going to Reading University, he had, there was an earthquake one morning, quite big, it shook the whole building. Um, so, you know, they do have earthquakes there. Um, this is the area of our uh, 3.6 that we had. And... Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it was some kind of pressure released from the Alps and the uh, this whole thing here. So let's go, should we read a little bit about what's going on there in Algeria. This is it. This is it right here. Mediterranean region seismically active due to the northward convergence of the African plate. That's the African plate that we had the uh, earthquake 4.4, 4.5, the swarms in that area. They're pretty big. Um, with respect, respect to the Eurasian plate, along the complex plate boundary, the convergence began about 50 million years ago, associated with the closure of the Tethys Sea. The modern-day remnant of the Tethys Sea is a Mediterranean Sea. The highest rates of seismicity 
are found along the Hellenic subduction zone right here in Greece, southern Greece, along the northern Anatolia fault right here in Turkey, right here, and western Turkey Calabrian subduction zone here, right here in Italy, southern Italy. Local high rates at the Hellenic subduction zone, 35 millimeters a year, associated with back arc spreading throughout Greece and western Turkey. And, um, okay, the North Anatolia Fault, well, you don't have to go into that. And we have quite big earthquakes in this area. But, uh, all right, so I just want you to know that uh, even though they're not marked here on Seismal Berkeley, this is where our um, earthquake took place, 3.0 right here. Okay, between Hastings and uh, Bouillon-sur-Mer, Marquis. Okay, so that's it, basically. Right in the middle of the English uh, Channel. It's not here, but that's where it was, right here. And I wouldn't be surprised if all this pressure um, does knock around other fault lines. And as we know, a lot of these fault lines go this way. This way, this way, this way, this way, this way, from France into England. So I wouldn't be surprised if um, even that thing there jolted some of the France um, uh, France uh, faults and even hit up there into the uh, channel. So all of you there, please be very careful. Thank you for your support. And if you can, please support my Patreon channel. Thank you for, my, for your support. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.